Okay, um, I've got a lot of video on this for you to look at. It's about five minutes of it, and I've taken some of the better swings. Some of the swings like that one right there kind of illustrates probably a poor, you know, one of the poor swings, but they're pretty rare. And, and Maddox, you know uh, when you swing properly. You know when you've taken your time. See right there, you're rushed. And then I think right there I told you just take your time and not rush your load. Just let me go ahead and do my load. And then you load yourself and then concentrate on hitting the ball. The more you do those type of motor skills correctly, the better you're going to get at it. And, uh, you know, you're going to get, your balance is going to get better too as you get stronger. That bat that you're swinging compared to a, a young man in high school is very heavy and you're doing a great job of getting good extension with your right arm okay and the reason I've got your leg when you load it's good to, it's good to be relaxed like you were just a second ago and then when a pitcher gets into the into his delivery you don't have to you don't have to turn your your heel quite uh, you know quite so long towards the pitcher but you'll get you get the idea as you as you watch major leaguers do it uh, and as you watch your yourself on videos that you don't have to have it you know stuck up there like that and on your toe like that so high but you also will see that when you do become uh, when you do pull the trigger to start your swing it's when that left foot comes down and you see what happens to the right foot it turns all right and I'll show you uh, later on your right foot which is towards the catcher that one will move toward as you get older and you really turn your hips now this is live arm right here this is this is live arm and you'll see you, you're a little bit less consistent Okay, the first group of swings are from uh, what we call front toss, and that's where the pitcher is real close with an L screen in front, and he underhands it into the hitting and throws the ball into the hitting zone. When you're ready to engage your swing, your left heel, when it hits the ground, that's when you start your swing. One thing I noticed about you is your elbow, your elbow, when it stays right above your right hip and you bring it in close to your body like that right there, you really have a short swing. When your arms, when your elbows get away from your, from your rib cage, your swing gets a little bit slow and, and long. But you, for the most part, have a very short, compact swing. Right now, just focus on balance. You know, we talked about breathing. When you load, you hold your breath. So when that foot comes up and you get ready to load, your weight goes back. You inhale and then you exhale when you make contact. And it all works together. You're inhaling, hold your breath, and then you inhale, you hold your breath at the top part of your lungs. Okay, and then when you start your swing, you explode your breath right there as you push through and extend your right arm. That is something that you practice over and over and over again. Call those dry swings. And I talked to you about you know, no one has to pitch to you. You just kind of imagine that you're looking at the pitcher. And then as you start your swing, your head and your chin needs to be finishing up on your back shoulder as you watch the ball make contact with the bat.
You had several swings and you had several good swings. This is all live arm and uh, you had many more consistent quality swings like that one right there than you did have than you had poor swings. So uh, I'm proud of you and you did a very good job.